Matthew McConaughey goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Joy Behar, who tried to put him in a corner when he was on The View to promote his new book. And this whole thing got absolutely crazy really fast, especially considering the fact that Matthew McConaughey decided to go in a very interesting direction that no one saw coming when it comes to this whole crazy thing that she asked him about. So let's get into this whole crazy story and see what is going on here. As you all know, I'm not a big fan of The View. I'm not a big fan of Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg, none of them. But Matthew McConaughey is here to compare completely put down all of the nonsense that Joy Behar tried to push him on, but in a way that I was not a big fan of. So Matthew Bugatti puts his finger in Joy Behar's face after she calls him anti-gun, a game I'm not interested in playing. I like Matthew McConaughey a lot. He's always been all right, all right, all right by me. It would be nice. All right, all right, all right. It would be nice if we would stop talking to him about running for political office. And I do not want that to happen, especially in Texas. And I think that would be just absolutely horrible, especially considering some of the facts, some of the things that he has said in the past when it comes to things like uh, our Second Amendment. So to paraphrase a Canadian philosopher that's over now, yet people keep coming back for more. At least McConaughey has gotten better about not taking the bait as shown when he sat down with the shrill harpies from The View. And what he has to say here is very interesting, so let's go ahead and just play this clip here, and we'll kind of, I'll give my my uh, my rather blunt thoughts about this after we see this clip. Do you think you could get time, elected like, in Texas being anti-gun? Do I think I could get elected in Texas being anti-gun? One thing about if, if, if me and politics is to give you a direct statement right there is yeah. be playing a game that I'm not interested in playing. Okay. To don't, give you don't a direct do it. statement don't right there. So anyway, now I, I have my own problems with this and what Matthew McConaughey says in response here. Basically, he's saying that if he was if he wanted to play the the politics game, uh, he would give a direct statement. No, that is exactly what politicians don't do. They don't give direct statements. Pol have you ever seen a politician, Matthew McConaughey, like seriously? Like these people do not give direct statements. That is one of the things that I love so much about Trump is that he does give direct statements. He's just like, he says it as it is. And that is what I want all politicians to do. I can't stand politicians because they, they always worm their way around questions like this all the time. And that is exactly what he's doing. He's playing the politician game by giving this answer, by being vague, by not answering the, the question outright. And that is something that I find to be a huge red flag. Now, I don't think that Matthew McConaughey is someone who stands up for Second Amendment rights. I think he is someone that is that would be absolutely terrible to have an office. And uh, I'm not I'm not going to budge on that whatsoever. I, I think that he is someone who could be very, very harmful when it comes to the Second Amendment. So I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are when it comes to Matthew McConaughey and where do you think he stands? What do you? I mean, some of the things that he has said in the past definitely makes me raise my eyebrows when it comes to what he says about the Second Amendment and stuff and how he wants to uh, crack down on some of the stuff that is the Second Amendment. And that, to me, like, come on. It's it's literally the reason that there's, there's a reason for why in the Second Amendment it says it shall not be infringed. But let me know in the comments below. Like, leave a like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.